Welcome to the first video in a series where I try to learn how to freestyle skateboard. My goal with learning how to freestyle skateboard is to learn how to flow through tr tricks more seamlessly and to link more tricks together. This is not a freestyle skateboard. I don't think I need a freestyle skateboard and if later on down the road I feel like I do need one, I'll get one. For session number one, I'm going to focus on fundamentals. The first trick is just an easy, basic tic-tac. Lots of different tricks are based off of the tic-tac, such as the spacewalk, which hopefully someday I'll learn. The tic-tac is super easy, because honestly, from skating street and park, I already knew how to do that trick. But I think it is super important because it does help you gain speed and from what I've been watching on freestyle, a lot of tricks are based off of the tic-tac motion. Now, let's see if my friend Brittany can do it. You did it! Good job! Difficulty wise, what would you rate that trick, Brittany? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, it's not bad. <laughs> The next trick I'm gonna learn how to do is called a monster walk. This is a filler trick that's super important in freestyling, so you can link tricks together, and tricks like the milkshake are based off of it as well. And the next trick I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do is the monster walk. Basically, it's kind of like power slides, like 180, front side 180 power slides back and forth, looking really smooth, and that trick helps you gain speed. It fills and links tricks together, and some other tricks are based off of it, like the milkshake. Uh, here's attempt number one. That was one monster walk. Okay, I can monster walk. Let me see if I can make it look smoother. Shit. All right, that one's a little bit harder. It's gonna take a lot more practice to make it look smooth. I'm gonna do it slow. I'm gonna try to do it slow and make it look a little bit better. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. All right, do you wanna try that one? And the last trick I'm gonna to learn tonight is called the tail stall shuffle. Lots of different tricks start off of a tail stall in freestyling, so it's super important to learn that as one of the fundamental tricks. Last trick of the evening is a tail stall foot shuffle. It's super easy. All you gotta do, stand on the board, put your foot on the tail, Go into tail stall, then bring your front, your front foot to your back foot, put your back foot to your front foot, and there it is. And when I was watching TV, there's different variations you can do. You can come back here and go back. You can do like a 360. Oh. Now. Let's see if we can take these tricks to some of the obstacles in the skate park. I was thinking the coolest way to get the uh, tail stall foot shuffle would be tail stall on the mini 
foot shuffle, and then go back in. So I'm gonna try to get that in the line. <laughs> there you go. That wasn't much of a line, but that was pretty <laughs> sick. Like, that was pretty sick, I think. Yeah. Did it look sick? Yeah. I was thinking it would be sick to do... Uh, like a nose grab, foot shuffle, tail saw on the coping. Be sick. For the final trick of the evening. I'm going to link everything together. We're going to do 50-50 off the ledge monster walk. No stall, 360 foot shuffle, that little ledge right there, and then ollie off. Coffee. One more. I gotta get it a little smoother and cleaner than that. That was ugly. As expected, freestyle tricks are very uncomfortable for me to do right now. I look stupid doing them, but eventually these videos will be like progress markers for how much better I get and how much smoother I start to flow. I'll take that one. And we'll end it with a kick flip. Oh! <laughs> All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with a homie, and I'll see you on the next video.